I'm John, and tonight I want answers about elections and blackface and the ruffle grouse. There's no stopping us now, because we're live. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers. Check your calendar. If it says November 8th, 2018, then we're live. Tonight on the show, we have Key Statenfield, a window into a dark room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, thanks for the present, which I understand you picked up for me in your trip to Colorado. Yes, it's a little yeah, yeah, jar. Yeah, yeah, it's a jar. It's a little jar. Here's a pro tip. Uh, you're supposed to peel the price tag off before <laughs> you give people presents. Just, oh, I want um, you to know just how much I thought Okay, of well then, okay. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to put it right there. We'll be taking your tweets. You can tweet us live during the show at John Wants Answer, and then later on we will read them. If you don't like to tweet us, you can go to the contact page on our website and email us from there. And hopefully we can get your emails today. Um, last month, some terrible and inappropriate things were said. What? Was it me? Josh Young does not have cancer. Well, that's, that's true. Some people were alarmed oh. after the show. I got oh. all these messages like, Josh Young has cancer? No. 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 He's no. fine. Well, he's, he's precancerous. He's Josh I guess. Young. Yeah. He's, he's, he's doing fine. He's always young. Yeah. 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 Big news. So, last month was our big episode. 100. 100. 100. A milestone Josh Young never thought we'd get to. Wow, with good reason. <laughs> he's, he sees the show. He, he's our inside man in Gilroy. Well, he was our inside man in Gilroy. Yeah, he's coming back here. Used to be here, went to Gilroy, was yeah. our inside man. We got on the, sh on the channel in Gilroy, we were on three times a week. Wow. Because of There's, him, our inside man. It must suck to live in Gilroy. Anyways, um, we made the newsletter, the KMVT newsletter. We made it. Because we had 100 episodes. Oh, wow. Did you read it? No. Let's take a look. We have it right here. That's us. Wow. That was like someone took their phone and pointed it at a TV screen and took a picture of the TV screen. Okay. Because we don't have the technology here to make screenshots. No, no. And then it's in the newsletter. Congratulations on the 100th episode. John, John wants Link, answers. What about Keith Stanfield? Where's the congratulations to Keith Stanfield on? Well, when your show hits 100 episodes. My show has hit 100 episodes. I'm not sure I'm it pretty has. sure. Like you, I, yeah, I could go count them. You were very poor, actually, Beyond that, making I'm, them. I'm on your show, too. Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm on, like, 90 episodes. Like, in, like, yeah. eight episodes, do I get a congratulation? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, I'm sure good. you do. Okay. Okay. More big news. More big, I can't more take big it. news. I can't take it. We keep making more episodes and we keep on getting more affiliates. Wow. So, uh, Are there we have really affiliates. I have a new affiliate. Let's see the map. Now, this is before. This is the before map. Okay. Okay. I see a now, lot look of very carefully. We got a new affiliate, the Abington Community Access and Media yeah. from Abington, Massachusetts. Wow. So, let's, let's see the star added. I can't tell. Did they add it? I can't see it. Yeah. Okay. But if there was a star added near Boston, that's a new affiliate. Okay. Man, they love us in the Northwest. Northeast. Northeast. Yeah. Must be the, well, the cool. Well, let's not oversell it. The cool sea air. They're must be, willing to air us. Yeah. For a very small compensation. All right. Let's get started in the show. Let's see the board of categories. Okay. Today we have... Civic duty. Yeah, yeah. Canadian wildlife. Okay. Racism. Yeah. Boo. Keith and John get it on. Yeah. And finally, creepy or hilarious. Okay. So, Keith, what do you want to pick gonna, this I'm gonna, time? I'm going to throw all convention to the wind, and I'm going to pick Keith and John get it on, even though I think it's the, the weakest part of the show. All right, let's do the top pick tonight. Governor of California campaign. Just elect the governor of California? Well, as you know, Keith, you and I are on a four-year mission to run for governor of California for 2022. I mean, we're going to lose. I mean, shouldn't we wait till 2026 when we have a chance? Why do you think we have a chance in 2026? Well, isn't that like a term limit? Like oh, two terms? Yeah, Gavin Newsom is going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm we just... know that. So tonight we have a special guest for Keith and John Gitterdahl. What? We have 
Let's see if I have this right. Bobby Chastain. Bobby, he's he's Bobby executive. Chastain. I think it's Bobby. Is it Bobby Chastain? Chastain? Bobby Chastity. Bobby I it was Chast Chastain. 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 Maybe we can ask him. Okay. Um, executive director here at KMVT. Let's bring on Bobby. Big round of applause. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks, John. Hi, Bobby. Hi, who's Keith. in charge of the newsletter? Chastain. Bobby Chastain. Chastain. Yeah. I was right. No, no, who's in charge of the newsletter? Christina. Didn't you do a great job? <laughs> yes. Yes, Christina. Views Thank differ. You. Views differ. Okay. Well, I mean, 100 shows is nothing to sneeze at. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But You'll like, get there like, someday. Like credit should be credit should be apportioned. We're going to have a talk with her later about yeah. yeah sure good luck with that yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah, that's gonna go poorly <laughs> all right congratulations new baby thank you yes all right yeah is he going to be uh a, she a she sorry she I gonna showed you a picture violet <laughs> <laughs> is probably going to be a, a tv producer when she grows up uh whatever she wants to be as long as she okay. studies at stanford <laughs> Yeah, good, good. Well, if she stayed at Stanford, she's not coming back here. <laughs> like for elementary school? I just met J-Lo at Stanford She's and A-Rod. They're coming here. Oh, really? Yeah. We got an in it with uh, GBS. Wow. Remember Tyra Banks was here a couple times. Really? No. How come I never recall to volunteer for those times? I think you're busy. I'll yeah. make time. Um, I don't always okay. assume that we were the biggest celebrities here. Yeah. Yes. I think we are. Okay. But like permanent people yeah, who are like here. Yeah, residents. You guys are yeah. the best. Yeah. yeah. We have visiting yeah. celebrities. Yeah. So, Bobby, I want to talk to you because, as you know, Keith and I are running for office. So, how does that work? Both of you are running for governor against each other. Against yes. each other. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Is there not a slate? No. No. Right. Well, we are, though, I mean, we each have the same chance of being governor. We could run. Yes. Like, at, like on the same slate, and like he'd be governor Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'd do it <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, like a good Saturday, idea. and Sunday. It's oh, a lot weekend. of work being governor, I think. It is. Yeah. That's why we're hoping we don't win. Okay. Well, I looked in the uh, description. There's like only three jobs. That's like to veto or sign the laws that are passed yeah, by the Senate. That's like that's 17 easy. hours every year at least. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of laws. And then there's a line item veto of the budget. Yeah. That's you got to buy a lot of sharpies. Yeah. How many hours is that? Well, it's in it's in the 17. But, okay. So 17, 17. Well, it depends you on how much depends on how much you're line item vetoing. You can still get it all done in the bathroom. 34 hours yeah. a year. Oh, sure. A I year? Spend that much time. But, but you, you got to get it done quickly. The vetoing. And the signing. I thought the veto, you can like just sit on it for a long time. And then no, no, no. Like, like, if you do nothing, it gets vetoed by you doing nothing. No, no. Only if they passed it in the, like the last 14 days of the legislature. Otherwise, you only have a certain amount of time to veto legislation. Then it takes effect. You know, I just watched your you 100th should, episode. You should learn about like, this. I feel like there's an unreliable narrator thing going on. Yes, yes. Things haven't changed much since episode one. Anyways, so I want to get into it. We are individually running to see who's going to get the most votes in the primary. Because yeah. we both know we won't make it past the primary. I see. Only the top two people move past the primary. And you'll be, th these will be write-ins, or are you going like, to try no, to get on, gonna be on, on the ballot? No, we're going to be on the ballot. Okay, well, fantastic. If you spend enough money, you can get anything done. Including, how, much, how much expensive is that? I think like $4,000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Each. Each. Maybe yeah. you should run as a slate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our question to you. Yeah. Executive Director of KMVT, yeah. what kind of things can we say on our shows about our run for office? Right, and so, you know, KMVT is a nonprofit, so yes. we have to separate ourselves from political activity. However, it's been deemed by very wise people that um, just providing the platform and the, mm -hmm. the gear and the, the volunteer or staff support does not constitute political activity. No, in not. fact, it's central to our mission that we mm -hmm. give you these things. And in yeah, fact, yeah. Keith produces a show for the Democratic Party. Yes, and he does. He's, do. he's got a good friend, Jim, who uh, does a show for the, the Republicans. So there can be political... He's also my good friend, too. Jim. Jim, sure. Jim, yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Jim. Well, Jim, mine too. Mine okay. too. Okay. He's all our I friend. saw him first, actually. <laughs> so... Um, you can you can do it's it. It's not a contest. <laughs> no, but um, right. No, it's not. I, was it just, insinuated just, that it was? Be sure why. I mean, right. Just the viewers at home, like like there's there's enough gym to go around. <laughs> yeah, is what I'm saying. Well put. Yeah. Well put. Yeah. Yes. There's more than enough gym yeah. if you want some of my gym. So, um, but so you, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can use this as a political show. You can okay. put yourself over. Um, there are rules, of course. You can't be, you know, liable. You can't be liable, you know, sl slanderous. So I can't say lies about Keith. That's right. But everything Keith says about me is usually a lie. Well, so yeah, that's going to get a little tricky for Keith, frankly. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you, you can't. I don't think, it, I, I think it's libel, though. Just, just it, flat out lying. If it's like bad things, like if you say, 
John is a fabulous and generous man. That's a lie, but yeah. it paints me in a good light. Yeah. So is that then not libelous? We, want to we, sh we should ask libelous. our friend Jim. So I'm sorry, I didn't know we were treading into this water. I was <laughs> no, no, me neither. Anyway, me neither. That's why this show, it's always exciting. <laughs> you can't be that. Okay. Uh, and you cannot uh, solicit appeals or funds. No. So, oh, so you can't say donate to my right. the election, no. right. the election fund. You can, can say I how say great you are. You can talk about your political viewpoints, uh, you know, your platform, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, but who are you going to be we running as Gavin, I guess, we right? We don't yeah. have a platform. Gavin. No. I have a platform. If you go to my website, governorcalifornia2022.org, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> then my platform's there. Yeah, yeah. Um, or you can go to my website, anyonebutjohn.com. Anyonebutjohnforgovernor.com. Oh, okay. I have to check that out. Yeah. Well, this is really getting like <laughs> ugly already. Yeah, yeah. It's, Didn't they just they just finished the last? I know, I know. It's crazy. That's why we're getting ready for this one. Now, I heard when I started doing this show, we had a little meeting, and you said there can't be any call to action. I believe that's what it's called. Right, because you can't have commercial content uh, as a public access show. But the, well, this call call to action I interpreted as meaning I can't tell people to do something. Like I can't say. Vote. Go and vote. The call to action only, that applies to c commercial goods or services. Oh, so I can't say, you know, buy an iPhone. I can't say that. Well, yeah, so you're just finding this. No, right, you can't say that, but you can do a call to action like go vote or, oh. um, you know, be well or, you know, sleep easy. Um, volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. Go Warriors. Give, whatever. Give blood. Okay. So, wow, so that's kind of exciting for you because now, congratulations, 100 episodes, by the way, again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so for the next 100, you can now, like, incorporate that. Now I'm going to be calling to action all the time. Yeah. Every episode, we'll have like one of our categories. Aren't you Canadian? Can you even run for governor? I am a dual citizen. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I can run. Really, he's American. There are no dual citizens. There are dual citizens. No. Keith Only Canada thinks about. that. I hate it when you guys fight. America. America has no dual citizens. I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger is a dual citizen. No, no. He had to renounce all Did mumble he? mumble. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. It's true. I think there are members of Congress who are Canadians. You know, Jim too, who I was friends with before you guys, actually has a fact checker on his show, and then yeah. like we they come get, in at the end. Yeah, yeah. we should get. Uh, yeah. Here's Mr. a funny Walton. thing. I've I've been his fact checker. Oh God. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so have, he doesn't I have, have high standards. For uh, I have hired his fact checker. Okay. So, he's a lawyer. Yeah, he's a lawyer. I had to hire him. Yeah, I did. Um, equal airtime. Right. Do I have to give equal airtime on my show to all my opponents? No. No. Oh, that, so, that so and, and this is key, though, because um, part of the, the rules for it. So what lets us have a show where you running for governor, you can, you know, do your political campaigning. Mm -hmm. um, we have to make sure that everybody has equal availability for the studio at the same rates and the same rules. Okay. So that's all, the only equal part of it. So Gavin Newsom, mm -hmm. feel free to come to KMVT, make an access show, talk about your, you know, running for governor, assuming you do uh -huh. in the in four years from now. He can do that too. You can do that. Hmm. So as long as we do that, we have no editorial control over the content. As long as you you you, right. you do that, and that's very important for us because we can't engage in political activity. Even if I wanted you to win over Keith, yeah, I don't. couldn't. I couldn't say that. You couldn't say it here. Yeah. I mean, you told me couldn't earlier say it here. before the show. You told me. I would never. Now yeah, here, I would never. I believe it. <laughs> um, great. So I think that's uh, what we have now. One last question: What is your favorite show on KMPT? Oh gosh. So many. I, this is right up there, John. I, I do. I watch this one. I, you know, I wish I, I watched all of them. I don't have time. Uh, you know, I got three months old now. Yeah. Um, but Violet. since Violet was born, I'd say the one show, public access show, I've watched from beginning to end was was a month ago. It was your hundred. Woo hoo! Yeah. yeah, I was in bed with my iPad, and uh, you know, the wife was asleep, yeah. and like it was, you know, it's kind of shameful. I turned the brightness <laughs> all the way down, you know, and make sure she's, you know, asleep. Right. And then she woke up. She's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm looking at porn." Yeah. Yeah. I was talking earlier before the show, we have uh, our, our, our friend here, Bill, he told his friend that he worked in public access, mm -hmm. and his friend is on East Coast. Apparently there, they practically show porn on public access TV. So we can't do that. That's also, you yeah. know, when you asked me these questions, it was funny because around the same time, someone from uh, the city attorney mm -hmm. of one of the cities we serve asked me the same questions because he they He wanted have to a, play porn on the state? No, he wanted to run for, uh, he was running for office. Oh, okay, right? okay. Uh -huh. But, uh, so, you know, I was thumbing through, yeah, you can't do porn. It's, it's obscene. You can't, basically, you can do any show you want as long as it's not uh, obscene, which is kind of like purposefully vague. Yeah, yes. yeah apparently. Yeah, it's but like, you'll, like, you'll, you'll know when you see it. it. Uh, you know, exactly, exactly. 
um, and it can't be commercial, and it mm -hmm. can't you know violate copyright, and then there's like the you know it can't be libel. Yes. Other than that, you pretty much you know come on here and juggle onions. Okay. Or you know just like lie for Every half an hour. Fifth episode. No. I can't juggle so. though. <laughs> All right. All right. So should, well, I, should do I should I leave? Yes. Okay. You can stay. You thanks, Bobby. Are you, would you, you like a cutaway? I, I'll, I'll be quiet. You can stay here if you want. Okay, thanks. No, we're live. There's no cutaway. I'll let you. Okay. I'll mm -hmm. let you pick the next uh, topic. So oh. let's see the uh, board of categories. Okay, which one do you want to pick? I'll take. Let's see, racism. God. Uh, no, we'll go. Let's do civic duty since oh, we're on there for yeah. uh, two hundred. All right. Yeah, let's see civic. what you have there. Yeah. Midterm elections. Oh, good lord. We have a piano player up in the, in the corner. Yeah, yeah. You always have great musicians. Yeah. You have the sticks on here. We had sticks on here. Yeah. All of them. No, no, no just the, the just one the stick. One. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a stick on here. Okay. So elections. We had elections. This last I mean, week. You can leave. Well, you don't have to sit here. I'll just sit here quietly. Unless you want to answer. Yeah. I'll sit here quietly. Okay. It'll, be, it'll okay. make the show look different from the other ones. It will, yeah. This will be uh, award winning, I think. Um, you won some awards. I was able to walk over to my polling place in four minutes on Tuesday in the morning on the way to work. Yeah? So I just walk right in, I give my name, yeah. and I start voting immediately. That's correct. Okay. Welcome to America. Now. Did they not cover this in the citizenship exam? Well, no, here's what's different. Other people around the country have been telling me they have to wait in line for hours. Yeah, yeah, some to places. Vote. Yeah. Why is that? Like, how come I can vote with no wait, and some people have to wait a long time? Uh, well, California has more polling places. Okay. Than other places. Mm -hmm. uh, California doesn't use machines to vote, so they can set up more little booths for you to vote in. Oh, okay. And California is more liberal with who's allowed to use an absentee ballot. So in a lot of people Practice, mail in. almost everyone can request an I mean, you can just always request permanent absentee in this county. Right. And they'll mail you your ballot. You can just mail it back. Oh. I haven't voted in can, person for a long time. I yeah. don't mail. So I, get, I get the ballot, yeah. and then I, I walk it down to my polling place, and I say hi to my nice polling place people. Just for, like, the feeling yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in Are a there, garage. Do other states not um, have so much absentee voting? Uh, there are a fair number of states where you have to have a... You know, very valid reason for absentee voting. Like, mm -hmm. you have to be out of the state uh, uh, on election day, and you have to be able to say, to certify that. In California, no such rule. California, California yeah. Because we're all so busy here. Yeah, yeah. Now, and, I show, and we want people to vote. I didn't show any ID. I just told them my name and my address. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, here's your ballot. Yeah, you don't have to show ID. Does Can I just walk in like five times a day with the names of my neighbors? You could. You'd be committing a felony. Right. Or at least a misdemeanor. Like five might be felony, okay. one might be misdemeanor. Okay. Oh, for misdemeanor, that's like nothing. I should do that. Well, it's up to a year in jail. Oh, well, okay, maybe not then. Yeah. I yeah, thought like don't. a speeding ticket to misdemeanor. You just no, don't. no, those are infractions. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so there are states that they don't like people to vote. That, that's Is my that, claim. Because like Florida, I've heard, people wait all day to vote. Yeah, in yeah, Georgia, time. people waited three or four hours to vote in some yeah. places. And they like it that way? They don't want to fix it? <laughs> That, I, I think some people want to fix it, and some people don't want to fix it. It's interesting how f fewer people voting it's, puts the election it's not on a different fewer side. Fewer people voting. You have to arrange for the right people to not oh, vote. Oh, so the the wrong people are waiting in line for hours, and the right people can just walk yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Like some counties might have seven voting districts, and some might have or seven polling places for 100,000 people, and others might have two polling places for 100,000 people. That sounds hard to pull off, though, to get the right people that you want to vote. They have computers these days. Yeah, like but there's people, people whose jobs this is to figure out. To screw the yeah, yeah, electorate. Yeah, yeah. I'm told I can register, walk up to my polling place, and register there on the spot on voting day, and then vote. Uh, California does have same-day registration. So why are people like always yelling at everyone else, register to vote, register to vote? Uh, because it <laughs> takes time to register on election day, and in practice, it's much easier to register early. Uh -huh. You get out of the way, uh, okay. and also, if you register, you're more likely to vote than if you think you have to walk down to your right. polling place and have two official items with your residence on them. Yeah. So I knew I was registered to vote, but I moved recently, and I wasn't oh. certain about you know. So, you know, like, could be I, I voted, like, for, with my last don't, address. Don't say that on television. No, I didn't, but, oh, you know, okay, my, yeah. might have, right? Phew. But what, um, you know, 
How do you how do you know that? Is there like an easy way to check up on that? I uh, call the registrar. Vote. I don't know. Call? They might have a website. Mm -hmm. So in this election, why did the Democrats pick up seats in the House but not seats in the Senate? Do you want to answer, or do you want our director to yell the answer at us? Because she's very angry that I screwed that one up. What part what did you screw up? I don't, I don't know, but she would tell us. OK. The Democrats picked up seats in the House. Yes, yes, they but did. But not in the Senate. No. Well, Democrats had a much tougher mm -hmm. role in the Senate. I think there were like 33 Senate seats up. Uh -huh. A third of the Senate's generally up every year because right. they serve six-year terms. Mm -hmm. uh, I think nine of those seats were Republicans, and the other 20-whatever were Democratic seats up for election. So just statistically, you're much more likely to lose if you have 25 seats up than if yeah. you have nine seats up. We have a question? Yeah. No, I had a, an opinion on that. I think yeah. it's because it's a poorly run organization, maybe? Which organization? The Democratic, uh, Democratic uh, Party. Party. Yeah. doing okay. Uh, yeah. When they won the House. Yeah. All right. So. Well, we have to uh, move on to our next uh, category. Keith, what do you want to achieve the, the list of categories? I'm thinking, let's, let's do something cute, like, like a Canadian wildlife. K1 left for 200. 200 Let's see that. It's the Ruffle Grouse. Ruffle Grouse. Uh -oh. The Ruffed Grouse commonly known as the partridge, is to be found in most hardwood areas in North America. One of the best camouflaged of birds, the grouse occurs in many farm woodlots in eastern Canada and aspen groves in the west. Grouse do not migrate, and in the winter they usually sleep in the trees or in deep snow. Their food consists of insects, seeds, buds, and berries. As many as 11 eggs are laid. The chicks remain in the nest only a few hours after hatching. As soon as they're dried off and the weather is clear, the mother and the brood leave the nest. For a more complete story on the ruffed grouse, why not contact the Canadian Wildlife Service in Ottawa? You think anyone hey, ever back. contacted the Canadian Wildlife Service with more questions about the grouse? You know, I keep wanting to do that myself, and I keep forgetting. Okay. So, Do you want me to remind you? Yeah. Like I can set something. Okay. You send me a reminder to ask for more information. Okay, we're taking your tweets now. And uh, we had a tweet from last hey, month Siri, that we didn't get to. Remind me to remind John to contact the Canadian Wildlife Society. Wildlife Service. Is there going to be like a quiz on I'll that? Why did, why did you do each other? We want to educate people on Canadian animals. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a public service announcement. I see. There's a, there's a long story we don't have time to get into now. Sure. Because uh, now we're getting taking tweets, and from last month we got a tweet, and it says, "Congratulations!" It's from Laura Dawn. Laura Dawn. Hi, John. Congrats on the 100th episode. From your biggest fan, dare I say, only fan in yeah. Arkansas. Wow. I think it's safe for her to dare that she's the only fan in Arkansas. Very, very, very likely. We don't have a lot of stations that are playing our show there. You're on in Arkansas, though. Well, we're on the internet. Oh, the internet, yeah. Yeah, I don't they think have the internet in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> only, yes, apparently only in the big cities. Because Laura Dawn is on it. Um, and then tonight, Yvonne Ellison, you know Yvonne? Yeah, I know Yvonne. Yeah. Uh, she says, are you ready to concede the 2022 election yet? Yeah, yes we are, both of us. Neither um, of us will be governor on November 7th, I'll concede the Not final that election. Uh, the primary, I might, I, no. I, no. It, we're not saying we're losers, <laughs> but we're going to lose. I guess is. But the it's way like a competition it. between each other. That's kind correct. Of? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And John's going down. We're like figuring out who's going to get the most votes in the primary. We're not going to win the primary. We'll be in the top two. We just want to see who can get more votes. I think it's kind of cool. How many? How long is the? How many candidates do you think there are that see, are get listed? Last year it was, or this June it was thirty-two. Thirty-two. How and many was it? The runoff year, or the remember the replacement when when yeah, Arnold yeah, was there hundreds. There's like hundreds, right? Hundreds. Yeah. yeah. That's where John got the idea from. I see. Yeah, a lot of people were just making stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. And like Gary Coleman. Why not? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, for Pete's sake. Well, he won. <laughs> I mean, well, that one. Yeah. All right. So, let's see the board of categories. 
Now, since you guys all picked, I'm going to pick the next category. I'm going to take racism for 200. Okay. Blackface. Uh, thanks, guys. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. You're a smart man, Bobby. <laughs> all right. So, let's see how much time we have left here. We have. We're not pro racism. Let's just get that out of the way. We're not pro racism. We have three minutes to get through this topic. Yeah. Okay. On the news, okay. there's a news anchor yeah, who said Kelly. something bad about black Megan Kelly. Megan yeah. Kelly. Yeah. What did she say? I don't pay attention to Megan Kelly, but I think she said like, "Oh, when I was young, blackface was fine." Really? I don't think it's fine. I don't. I don't know. If, I know. I don't think it is Back fine. Then? No. Okay. Uh, I think she was saying something about Halloween. It's okay to be in blackface. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um. So what's what's the deal with blackface? It's not good. Why is don't it not? Don't do it. Why is it not good? Um. Because blackface depicts stereotypically negative uh, personifications of black people. Oh, so they weren't merely acting the role of a black person. In addition, they're making the black person look bad. And they were particularly very racist stereotypes mm -hmm. of, you know, bumbling okay. characters or characters with, you know, really dumb people, or you know, there's the implication that they were off. No, oh, they're great at music and dancing, mm -hmm. but that's all they can do. And so when and, you, blackface... You know, blackface tended to exaggerate mm -hmm. the characteristics. You got the notion that the lips would be... The, the face would be black, but mm -hmm. the lips would be painted like a totally different red or something, uh -huh. so that they appeared very large. When did they start doing this? Like, like 1800s. 1800s, long time ago. And it lasted like, you know, there were, there were minstrel shows, which were, you know, just collections of these caricatures that played across America and in some sense kind of cemented the stereotype and spread it out across the country. Now, there was a time, I remember in Shakespearean days, when there were women actors were not allowed. So Correct. the roles of women were played by men dressed up. Yes, now, and, this, or boys. Is this similar situation where, at the time, black people were not allowed to be actors, and that's why white people were dressed up as black people? Um, probably. I mean, weirdly, there were, there were some black actors that put on blackface and played the... Right? I mean, it... That seems it, odd. It was more than odd. It was terrible. Yes. So it's meant um, to actually make them look worse than they are. I, uh, yes. Were there black people who acted just as black people who weren't in blackface? Um, probably some, mm -hmm. but America was very segregated um, through, you know, clearly the early 1800s in half the country, black people were property. Right. And we had the Civil War. Uh, and Jim Crow started creeping back into existence in the late 1800s, and they were oppressed in many, many ways. So there's a respected scientist, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. And if you were doing an accurate portrayal of him, you couldn't make him look bad because he's a smart guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I wanted to dress as him or, and talk like him, if I put on blackface, just because, you know, I'm white and don't look like him, that's still considered wrong, don't even though I'm portraying him in a positive way. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. that. It, 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 it's too close. It's too close. Yeah. Even if I don't do the red around the lips, just, you know, that's still considered blackface. Here's, here's a, here, from me to you, don't do that. Okay. Um, Al Roker, yeah. black person. Yes. Dressed up as the white Emmett Doc Brown okay. for Halloween this year. Okay. Would that be considered whiteface? I didn't see it, so I don't know. Oh. So that's, not, that's okay? I have no idea. Okay. Well, I think we're um, out of time. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> so.